everyone, Crow here, and I'm back with another Pickups video. i uh, got a bunch of stuff to show here. I'm not really sure where to start out, but I guess I'll start out with a um, trip that uh, me and my wife made to Target the other day. Uh, picked up, actually, a couple things. Hold on a second, I just remember. All right, I'm back. And actually, the one thing I forgot was uh, this Tron vehicle. It was like, uh, I think it was like, they're down to $3 now or whatnot. Uh, this is the uh, Grid Limo from Tron Legacy. Um, just one of the very few, I think this is the last one I don't have that, that was in this uh, style. So we had to pick that up. Also, um, my wife actually bought this for me. It's the, the Red Hulk. I saw this almost as we were leaving and I was like, oh, Red Hulk. She was like, you want it? And I'm like, yeah, I want it. So it was about seven bucks, but you know, I really wanted this because I had the the, the regular Hulk one, and um, they, they go together really good. Uh, they actually seem to be made out of the same molding, with the exception of this one hand here, and um, their heads are uh, different. There's the, the, the Hulk's head, and then the Red Hulk's head. Yeah. I don't think it's going to focus because of... Uh, the way I have things lighted, but yeah, I had to go with that since I'm a big fan of the Hulk. And the other reason, we stopped for multiple reasons, but the, another reason we stopped uh, was to pick this game up. You don't know Jack for the Xbox 360. Um, my wife really wanted this, and she'd never played uh, You Don't Know Jack before, but I had actually been playing some videos of uh, Video Games Awesome, and two of those videos, uh, they were playing uh, You Don't Know Jack, and she saw it. And she loved the way the game was. Uh, kind of reminded her of seeing it. So uh, we had to run out and pick this up. Not a bad price. It's only a $30 game. Uh, there's 30 episodes. Unfortunately, once you play through all the episodes, um, all the episodes have the same questions over and over again. So once you play an episode, you already know the answers for all the episodes. Um, but it does have an option for downloadable content. And I, I don't know if there is downloadable content or not right now. Uh, but hopefully there will be more episodes soon. And the, um, the other difference I noticed with this and the older games it does, is that uh, four people can play this instead of three. Um, so yeah, it's a very humorous game. Uh, worth looking into if you're into trivia games. And there's a lot of humor in this as well. So, moving on. Uh, let's move on to uh, stuff my wife picked up at Goodwill. Uh, we'll start off with this, one of the, the uh, biggest finds there. Uh, she found another Super Nintendo at Goodwill. So she found this Super Nintendo. It's got a cleaning device in here. So it's got this cartridge or a cleaner and the um, Super Nintendo cleaner as well. Oh, the power. Yeah, okay, there we go. No wonder it didn't come out so easily. The power was up. My bad. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, this uh, came with a controller. And this controller's in pretty uh, decent condition here. Um, RF cable came with a power supply, and uh, it seems to me like these uh, Super Nintendo power supplies are getting a little bit uh, up there in price when you look at eBay, at least $10 or so, and then you got to take on shipping, so it's really nice to get one of these as well. And then, um, <laughs> I mean, this is all in a bag, and the people at Goodwill had insisted this went with the Super Nintendo, uh, but it is not. I tested this out. This actually goes with the uh, Game Boy Color. But it's some kind of memory device. I'm not really sure how this works. I couldn't get it to work. It doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever it is, it seems to work. I just don't know what it's supposed to do. Um, I plug it in and it says memory manager. And it's like restore, you know, backup. I don't know what the point is. Maybe it's the backup your save games. It really, it's a device that really makes no sense to me. Uh, anyway, all of this together. The Super Nintendo, the plugs and everything. Oops which I'm dropping all over the place, uh, $5 at Goodwill. So, uh, what else we got here? Picked up a Game Boy Advance carrying case for $0.99. Cents. Um, this is actually pretty one of the most interesting finds she's ever uh, found at Goodwill. This is a uh, tabletop handheld slash thing, uh, Pac-Man 2, it says on there. Uh, pretty interesting. It takes 4C batteries. We had tested it out and it works. I'm just going to flip this to the demo. Uh, it's got one player, two player demo. Uh, skill one or two. 
off. Let's turn it on with sound. And this is the demo. Uh, the screen is kind of scratched up there. Let's flip this around here. So yeah, it's, this is uh, the demo working on it. Um, works pretty well. There is kind of a, it seems like there's a hairline crack somewhere down there. You can barely see it, but you can get, see like a red wave going down there. But it looks like it's a handheld LED Pac-Man device for two people, one or two people. So that's actually a pretty, pretty interesting find there. Um, moving on to more Goodwill stuff. Uh, Sega Genesis controller in uh, really, really nice con condition. It's almost brand new. Um, well, maybe not so much. Maybe slightly less than brand new. Um, yeah, it works. It feels pretty good for uh, two dollars. And then uh, one of the most awkward controllers I've ever seen. It looks like it'll work with the Genesis as well. It has the same plug. Feels lighter. It's a power player. <laughs> I, I really don't understand. It's got two sets of um, ABC buttons, and I'm guessing that's if you're you have longer fingers, if it's more comfortable for you to hit the, the, the ones up rather than the ones down. But this is a really really light controller. It feels really cheaply made. Um, I she just picked that up for dollar ninety nine. Very very interesting. It's got one of those uh, screws in there, so you could screw in a uh, joystick if you wanted to, or a thumbstick or something. Pretty. Pretty weird. Uh, then we got a bunch of games, or she picked up a bunch of games at that Goodwill. Um, actually, these could be from different Goodwills. I'm not really sure which ones she visited. Uh, we have uh, War Gods for, for the Nintendo 64, and I already have this game, but it was $1.99, so she picked it up. This is actually a nicer copy than the one I already have. The one I have, the label is ripped on it. So I'll be replacing that copy with this one. Star Fox 64 for $1.99. Again, I already had a copy of this, but again, this cartridge is nicer condition. Mine has a marker written across the top, so I'll be using this one to replace the one I already had. Uh, we have a uh, boxed copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for the Nintendo 64. Now, I thought I had this, but I actually have uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. So, um, yeah, this is a, a new game for me. It was... Uh, Two ninety nine in the box. The uh, the manuals in there as well, and it comes. It's actually one of those games that come in a uh, blue cartridge. Uh, most Nintendo sixty four cartridges are gray, but you know for some reason I, I don't know what they had to do, but uh, some of them are different colors. Like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater two is uh, yellow. This one's blue. Uh, I think Killer Instinct was. I don't know, um, I'm thinking of the Super Nintendo one. Uh, but yeah, Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 controllers, kind of, some, some of them are have a different color for some reason. Um, Medal of Honor on the PS1 for $1.99. It's missing the manual, but the, uh, the, the actual rest of the case is here, so it's kind of weird why the, the front manual would disappear. Uh, Driver 2, I don't believe I have this one. Uh, they had priced it at $3.99. It is the greatest hits uh, version. Uh, looks like it's missing the manual, but it's a two-disc game, and both discs are here. Um, there's another one I already have. Metal Gear Solid. She she knows I have this, and um, this is the greatest hits version. But um, she picked it up because it was $4. So... Um, she knows that this game tends to go for more than that, so that's why she picked it up. Um, the manual in this is, um, it's missing the cover, it looks like. So, and it looks like it's been water damaged. So, yeah, so this will go into a trades pile. Army Men 3D, uh, for $1.99, the 3DO game, actually, for, uh, for the PS... Uh, PlayStation. Uh, this one needs a new case because it's it's been cracked down here. Clean off. Uh, <laughs> interesting uh, game pick up here. Hot Wheels Extreme Racing for a dollar ninety nine. Everything in there. Uh -huh. Actually, I don't know if I have this one or not. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. For the PlayStation, uh, case is a bit cracked, dollar uh, ninety nine, but otherwise everything seems to be in there. 
And uh, I, I don't know if I have this one, but I'm glad she picked it up. Uh, Fighting Force for the PlayStation. I think this was one of the first um, games I remember seeing on uh, Classic Game Room, the old, old Classic Game Room episodes. Um, it just kind of looked hilariously bad. So uh, be interested maybe to try that out one day. Uh, Quake 2 for the PlayStation, uh, $1.99. Uh, I wonder if this has mouse support. Oh, it, it is. It's mouse compatible. I wonder if it's... Unfortunately, there's no PlayStation keyboard, is there? <laughs> I wonder how you can control it with the mouse, but um, but no keyboard. I wonder if you have, just have a controller in one hand and use the mouse with the other, or how that works out. Um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Rogue Sphere for $1.99. Case is a bit... Correct. Um, might have to work on the, open this up a bit to fix the uh, insert back insert. Looks like it used to be a blockbuster game. There's a blockbuster sticker on it, um, and I don't even want to try to get that off because that could it potentially just damage the game. And um, a pretty weird find for uh, Goodwill is a PS3 game. Uh, Midnight Club Long Los Angeles Complete Edition. This is the Greatest Hits version, uh, but price-wise, you can't go bad because she, she said they were selling this for $2. Um, not often you find a PS3 game for $2, not even a used one. I don't even think they, they sell the old PS3 Madden games for that by price yet. Um, let's see here. We also... F I, well... Long story short, last week, uh, around Friday, my car broke down. I had to get it towed. I was stranded at uh, Yorktown Mall for a while, which is in Lombard. And um, I was walking around the mall, and I noticed a brand new video game store in, in the mall. It's kind of like a, a play and trade, but it was called Gorilla Games. And they kind of had a black and green theme going. So, when I was in there, I picked up one game um, <clears throat> that, that caught my eye that I, I was really interested in, and that is Battletoads for the Game Boy. I never played this one, but I've played the uh, Battletoads on the NES, the Genesis, uh, the Super Nintendo one. I've never played the, the Game Boy one, though. So I did. I went and I shelled out $9.99 just to be able to play this game at least once. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, Guerrilla Games. Now, while I was there, they had actually told me that there was another Guerrilla Games location uh, sometime, some uh, many miles down the road, and it's actually in Wheaton, um, <clears throat> next to the Fox Bowl uh, bowling alley, and somewhere in that same lot. Um, the reason I'm saying this is in case Techromancer wants to go out there and take a visit there, um, Gorilla Games, and that store is actually a bit bigger, and they had a bigger selection. Um, we went there the next day while my car was being worked on, and uh, we picked up a little, few more games there. Um, I had to pick up uh, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Game Boy Color. Uh, it was $5. If it had a sticker on it like this, it was uh, $5, I think. So I think that was actually a pretty decent price for this one. Um, Wario Land 2 for the Game Boy uh, for $5 as well. It looks like it's I'm breaking the cartridges here. Uh, super. It looks like it's Super Game Boy compatible, so it might have some special features when you plug it into there. And then we have a uh, player's choice, Super Mario Land 2, which is a game I keep hearing good things about, but n I played it just a little bit, and you really need to put more time into this game. Um, again, that was only $5, and I think that you know those three games right there are pretty well set off there and should have gone for more than $5. That's why I picked those up. I also picked up uh, Kirby's Pinball Land, just because it was a pinball game, uh, with Kirby, and I don't have it. Uh, I'm really into these uh, video game pinball games just to see how they are. That was four ninety five. Again, it was a five dollar game. And then, oh yes, of course, we have um, Super Mario Land three, Wario Land, Super Mario Land three. So actually, Super Mario Land two is the sequel to this game. And um, again, uh, I think this is the first game where you could control Wario. So uh, that was what. 9.95, and I had to pick it up just so I could get get all these games and uh, actually play them since I've I've neglected them over the years. I've never really played these games. 
And then, uh, for some reason, this one actually came in one of the original uh, cases. That's Bubble Ghost. A game I used to play on the Commodore 64, but my wife seemed interested in this. Uh, so, I picked it up, and that was um, $6.95. The premise of this game is that you're a ghost, and you're trying to navigate this bubble through this castle. Basically, different screens, and uh, without popping it. And there's different things that could pop a bubble. And you basically float the ghost around, turn, rotate him around, try to blow the bubble in certain directions. And um, a couple of Super Nintendo games here for $5. Ken Griffey Jr.'s um, Winning Run, the sequel to um, the Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, baseball game on Super Nintendo. I used to play that one a lot, so I was interested in kind of seeing what the sequel was like. And then my wife really liked uh, the way this game looked, and that's Kablooey, again, $5 game. Uh, and that's what we picked up. I, yeah, I really don't know anything about this, so you picked that up. You know, out of curiosity, just because of the name. Um, that was it for Gorilla Games. Uh, one other thing here, actually two other things, but um, my wife actually picked this up for me at Walmart. That is the Tron Legacy Blu-ray. It came, comes with a light cycle. Now, I haven't opened this yet, but I'm really curious to see how this is pack, packaged um, because this is a Walmart exclusive package. It comes with the uh, Blu-ray and the DVD and a toy light cycle. I'll be uh, trying to find my, a copy of uh, the original Tron on Blu-ray. I know they, there was a combo pack with Tron and Tron Legacy, but I think overall that was a bit too much. So, and I, you know, I'd rather, I think I'd rather have the, the discs separate. So yeah, we have um, the Tron Legacy DVD here. Um, I, I wonder why they felt it necessary to say, hey, look, your PS3 is a Blu-ray player. I'm sure that anybody that's purchased a, a PS3 is aware that it is a Blu-ray player. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Maybe there are people that are buying it and then not knowing what to do with it and then see this and say, hey, wait a minute, I could play this on my PS3. And then um, we have the other section in here, which is the light cycle and I don't know I see remember the movie but I don't remember who rode in this green light cycle anybody actually remembers or if this is just a color that just doesn't exist <laughs> I'd be interested because I, I can't remember I, I, I think maybe I'll just watch the movie again to figure it out um, who this actually whose light cycle this actually is um, I really don't remember a, a green one <laughs> and then um, finally this was something that um, my my wife's friend's girlfriend, I guess they were cleaning out her garage or something like that, and they ran it across this item in their garage, and they asked us if we wanted it. Otherwise, they were either going to toss it or donate it to the Goodwill or something. And we were like, sure, we'll take it. So um, here it is. It's actually a boxed uh, Nintendo Entertainment System control action set. Um, so yeah, it's the box for it. It doesn't have the styrofoam or any original stuff on the inside, but uh, let's just see what we got in here. We have uh, one controller. Oh, this is nice. These, this is this feels like it's been barely used. And then we have a second controller here. Very tight. I'm gonna have to use these. These are these are definitely very responsive. And, um, you know how sometimes you, you play with a controller and the control just feels loose? That feels brand new tight. Of course, we've got the AC adapter in here. Uh, I had to put the box down in a hurry because it's, it seemed like the other end of it was going to open up. Um, you know, the RF adapter, which you really don't need if you've got composite. Um, we have the um, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt cartridge. And all this is, seems like it's in a uh, really good condition here. I mean, I mean, all this stuff seems like it's been barely touched and then stored away. Um, we have uh, Excite Bike is actually in here. They threw a copy of Excite Bike in there. And this is, yeah, I, I was going to say, is, is this an Oakland version or I don't even know if there's an Oakland version. But then we have the uh, Excite Bike manual as well, and as well as the um, old school. Poster. Let's, let's open that up. Oh yes, now you're playing with power, and then with Rob at the bottom there. So, um, wonder how many. Uh, and this is this seems like it's never been unfolded. So I'm gonna have to look at that a little bit more. 
later. And let's see what else we got. And here we have the um, the gray zapper, which apparently is not consumer friendly anymore. Well, in more than ways than one, you can't sell this because it looks too much like a gun, and it doesn't work with uh, HD TVs. And then finally, we have the uh, the NES itself in there. Wow, this is uh, pretty good. There's so, a little bit of smudges here. This might be the uh, best condition NES I've seen in a long, long time. I'm sure that I could just pop games right in there and I'll play like nothing. Um, seems like they, this has been barely touched. So, yes, uh, we'll have to thank them for, for this. I might have to replace the one I have on the shelf because this one is just... Yeah, it just needs to be wiped down a little bit. Um, and I'm sure it'll look like brand new. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. This turned out to be a pretty long pickups video again, which is why I kind of wanted to do it before I got more stuff. So, uh, yes, thanks everyone for watching. See you all next time. Bye. One thing, I almost forgot. The draft clock was here the whole time. I just neglected to mention him. I'm sorry. No hard feelings? Okay, bye. You'll yeah. be transported to the Rosedale Industrial School and shopping where you mall. will serve a minimum stay of one year. Then it's off to sunny Before Hawaii!